welcome back to my channel. So today I'm gonna do a meal prepping video. This is for people that are very busy, people that work. It makes my life so much easier to meal prep. Even sometimes if you're not that busy and you're home all day, it kind of takes you away from like Uber eating your food because you just have to eat it because you bought it, you cooked it, you worked hard on it. So I'm gonna meal prep breakfast, lunch, and dinner for the week. I'm gonna do it for my boyfriend and I, so it's gonna be like two sets of meals. So it's gonna be a lot but this is a great way to save money, also stay in shape. Also, I have been doing this every day for the last month almost. I do cheat on weekends sometimes. I have not been drinking alcohol and I have been going to Pilates every day and I have seen an improvement in my weight and overall well-being and health. So if you do all those things together, I guarantee you're gonna get some good results. Okay, let's get started. All right, so this is basically all that you guys are gonna need and I'm gonna show you and just break everything down. Some appliances you're gonna need is also a crock pot and an oven, keeping it simple. I know some people don't have an air fryer. You should invest and get one because they're great, but everybody has an oven. And this crock pot was actually super cheap. I got the cheaper version um, just because there's one that has a timer and it's digital. And you can like leave the house and leave it on for eight hours. That freaks me out. I need to be in control. So I just got this one and I've never had a crock pot before and now I'm obsessed with it. So highly recommend. We're going to start before we forget. We're going to preheat the oven. We're going to put bake and we're going to put 400 enter. So we're going to be smart here. We're going to start off with the chicken. I know in my last like meal prep video, I was like, ain't no way I'm going to eat chicken. Well, guess what? Summer's coming. I gotta eat some grilled chicken and it's also the easiest to meal prep. I got some chicken breast here and some mojo marinade. This is bomb. I love this marinade. It's so good. I'm gonna cut up this chicken and clean it. Wash your hands. Don't be nasty. You working, babe? Yeah. This is so disgusting. And now we're gonna add the chicken. This is the easiest way to freaking cook chicken ever. Just line all the little pechuguitas up. Now my fake part, we're gonna add this. It makes my life so much easier. That already has all the flavors, but if you wanna be extra, you can add salt and a little pepper. You could add anything else if you want. I only have this one pack of chicken. I feel like I added too much sauce to chicken ratio. It might get roasted, but it's fine. It's gonna cook all the same and it's gonna be really yummy. Put it, now we're gonna set aside and now we can continue to cook the rest of our stuff. We're gonna cook some of the turkey bacon. We're gonna go on to breakfast because the chicken has to cook for three hours. Oh, I didn't put a timer. Set a timer for three and a half hours. It might cook in a little less, like I'll keep an eye on it, but usually it takes about three hours. But since there's such little chicken cutlets. Anyways, got a sheet pan like this. I put some nonstick aluminum foil I preheated the oven for 400 degrees, and now we're gonna make the turkey bacon. All right, this is the one I use. I use the Applegate one. I really like it a lot. I hope I was filming. If not, oh my gosh. Yes, I was filming. Let's go. All right, into the oven these bad boys go. Please look at how uncomfortable me trying to do an intro. I did it like three times. <laughs> I just hate it all. Whatever, I'll figure it out. All right, in the meantime, we're gonna wash these little mini sweet peppers. I'm gonna cut them up, clean them, and get them ready to be eaten because I like to put them in my eggs. I like to add them to my snack bowls. I like to eat them with hummus raw. These are really, really good. All right, so cut all these off already. I'm supposed to be recording that. <laughs> it's fine. If this piece looks like slightly suspicious, I just like take it out. Like absolutely not. Perfect, yay. Now I have all these like <clears throat> fresh peppers. Yay, now the turkey bacon is done. See, it looks perfect. I'm gonna cut it in half and I'm gonna put it in the sandwiches. We got, also got our veggies ready to go. Having a lot of containers comes in handy. So now I have this container. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put like the big pieces on this side and then I'm gonna cut it into like little choppy pieces and I'm gonna put it on this side. That way this side could be for salads and omelets and then this side could be for like dips like hummus or just to eat it straight up. Perfect. So this is all the chopped ones and this is all the full ones and this is everything. So I just leave it in here and use it for the week. I'm going to use this to make omelets and I'm also going to use this to make the breakfast sandwiches. And I'm also going to use this to add to the side of the salads. So I got some eggs here and I have a measuring cup. I'm going to do the ratio. So I'm going to make six breakfast sandwiches. So 
So I'm gonna do two whole eggs to four egg whites. And then I'm gonna divide that up in between six sandwiches in the muffin tins. This bad boy, we're gonna pour it and we're gonna make six that only have six sandwiches. I don't wanna make that many, just in case I like get tired of it. But you can make as many as your little heart desires. Three, two, one. See if this is stupid or not. Wow, I'm so impressed with myself. Oh! Right, let's see if I can do that again, because that was so cute. I'm killing it. Three, two, one. That one was not very good. <laughs> oh, whatever. That's enough of the games. Eggs are too expensive to be playing these games, Rachel. You know what I'm gonna say here you talk to yourself? I'm not talking to myself, I'm talking to my friends. <laughs> they just haven't watched this yet but I'm talking to my friends. You know, I have almost 36,000 friends on YouTube. Oh, really? Mm-hmm. Wow. I'm so famous. Mm-hmm. <laughs> All right, guys, I got two eggs. This one, we're gonna do it like this. No yolk. I know eggs are expensive. For those of you who don't know, um, I have high cholesterol. Runs in my family, so I shouldn't be eating a lot of eggs. So I usually eat like one egg with like one egg white. Mix and mix. Remember these guys? Oh yeah, baby. We're gonna add these on the bottom. Just like so. I'm gonna pour in here a little bit of this. A little bit of this, so a little bit in here, a little bit in here. Dude, they're fat as hell. I don't know what the heck I'm thinking. <laughs> it's gonna be like a huge sandwich. This is a chaotic cooking show. I put it for five more minutes. Let's find out what happens. I cut up six little English muffin sandwiches and I'm gonna put them in the oven at 400 to toast just for like two, three minutes just to get a little toasty as if I put them in the toaster. My egg bites, my turkey bacon, I have some cheese here and then I'm waiting for the little muffins to get out and we're gonna make little sandwiches. Okay, now we're gonna build our sandwiches. So obviously the bread, the egg, the cheese and the turkey bacon. Um, the cheese slices were a little too big so I kind of had to like rip them to make sure they don't completely flop out of the sandwich. And then the turkey bacon, obviously I cut into halves and I put like one strip per sandwich, but it was really good. That's one. And that way, when they're in parchment paper, you can just shove them in the microwave, so, so much easier. Now we're just gonna put them in here so we could freeze them. Also, I just did like the little peppers because that's what I had, but you can put anything you want inside. You can make it full egg white, you can add spinach, you can add feta cheese, you can add tomato, you can add whatever. I just made it like as simple as possible because that's what I had, cheese and turkey bacon. You can use real bacon if you want. You can use like different kinds of English muffins. I use the 100 calorie ones just to, like save calories, be a little healthier. But yeah, I'm gonna put it in the freezer throughout the week if I want. I just take it out of these bags. It has parchment paper which you can microwave, so I would just leave it on the parchment paper and put it on like a microwave safe plate before I leave. And it would be 45 seconds and I could just eat it in the car. So this is like the smartest thing ever and it saves me so much freaking time. It looks pretty ready to me. All right, ready to go. I'm gonna, I like shredded chicken, so I'm gonna shred it all up. I'll show you guys how I do that. All you're gonna need is this little mixer. And I like this because the chicken is juicier and it just tastes better. Chicken is ready to go. It's fully cooked. It just looks so good. It tastes so good. It's like juicier. And then like what I like to do sometimes is like there's extra like juice in there and I'll just like toss it over. But since we're trying to be a little skinny skinny, I'm just gonna do it like this. All right, you guys know I love these. I've talked about them in a lot of my videos. I have one for me, one for my boyfriend. I'm obsessed with it. I've had it for like two years now and it's just the bomb. For those of you who don't know, all right, so it's a supposed to be a bento box salad container and it's for salads but i kind of use it for salads but for other stuff too so i'm going to show you the two ways that i use it in this one i'm going to do like a bowl like i would normally do for myself on the bottom i'm going to put rice and i'm going to put chicken and i'm going to put broccoli and this is like i would just attach this throw this in the microwave at work and this would be my lunch this top bar i use to put all my snacks so in the middle here i'll put some hummus and then i'll put some peppers and like whatever little nuts or snacks i want to do on the sides 
Um, so, so far we have the peppers, we have the cucumbers. I like to get this little snack mix from Trader Joe's and then I'm just gonna put it in the corner. I got these because they're easy to snack on, take in my purse wherever. Good healthy fats that you can have at any time. If this is not the most aesthetic thing you've ever seen, I kinda wanna eat that right now. How adorable is this? Garlic roasted hummus is going in the middle. Perfect. My Cuban family would literally die, but <laughs> I don't feel like making rice. Like I don't feel like cooking rice every day. I just feel like it's kind of a waste of my time. Like I buy like this microwavable rice from Trader Joe's and honestly, I love it. It's the easiest thing ever. It comes frozen so it doesn't go bad and you just pop it in the microwave and it's like not too bad, not too high in calories or anything. Easy, microwave in three minutes. One more, can you ask for? <laughs> I think in my last video, I also did microwave rice. My mom was like, I was like, girl, I know nobody got time to be cooking rice. Like, it's 21st century, let's go. Let's move it along, you know? So I'm microwaving this rice so I can assemble my bowls. All right, so let's go to this. And then I'm gonna measure the chicken here. Half a cup of shredded chicken. It may not look amazing, but this is really good and healthy and a really easy meal. And then like this, and like this. Done. I only have two of those containers, so unfortunately we got to do it this way. So some rice, I'm gonna add some broccoli, and then add some chicken here. Perfect. So like another perfectly measured out meal. So the way that I usually use this in pepper is I get a little bit of this romaine. I like buying dirty pre-washed because again, nobody has time for that. We got the salad at the bottom, this on top. I'm gonna add some shredded chicken here. I'm gonna add some croutons. I just diced up and peeled some cucumbers. We're gonna get some of this Caesar dressing, simply 60. Okay guys, so I finished meal prepping everything that you just saw. So salad for me, salad for Austin. Then I have three meals here in total with chicken and rice and broccoli. Just divided it up in between the three. One of them has white rice instead of brown rice because I did have some extra white rice laying around. Also, so these are the things that I did meal prep. I also wanted to share a few little snacks that are very healthy and easy that you don't even have to cook. So we got these Okio's yogurts. Unfortunately, no, this is not sponsored. This is just, I like this, this is good. I think these yogurts are really yummy. They also have 15 grams of protein per serving, like per little cup. And I think they're like 100 calories and they have zero grams of added sugar. These are bomb. Oop. I like the way they taste. I like the vanilla and I also like the triple berry is my favorite one. Also, sometimes I like to add a little granola to it. I do like Pure Elizabeth. I think they have really good granola, the best granola, honestly. She, he, whoever owns this brand. They have keto granola. I ended up just getting this one because that's the only one that I saw, but the other one is good too. We could also do some bananas. This is a good snack, easy. You don't have to do anything, just grab it and go. And also these little fruit snacks from Peter Joe's, they come individually wrapped and I think they're really, really yummy. Another one of my favorites is my Power Crunch bars. I love these Power Crunch bars. I think they taste like Kit Kats. Like the chocolate one tastes like a yummy Kit Kat and then the vanilla one, I don't know, it's just like yummy. It reminds me of like that crunchy, like, Nilla wafer thing, you know what I'm talking about? I don't know if I'm explaining this correctly, but these are bomb. Also, these Quest things are really good. They're like healthy version of Reese's and do their bomb. So I would also recommend this. Again, none of this is sponsored. These are just my personal preferences. I would also like to say that I'm not a nutritionist. I'm not a dietitian, <laughs> not a registered dietitian. I am a nurse. I know enough to get by. And I definitely have met with a nutritionist in the past. So I know how to eat for my body and I know what works for me and nutrition is not a one size fits all But these are some pretty healthy options. that I think that you guys could try and enjoy so And that's it. I'm all done. Thank you guys so much for watching this video If you enjoyed it, please like and subscribe to my channel Let me know what other videos you like to see and um, it was easy to make this video kind of sort of just a little hard trying to Not burn down the house, but I didn't burn down the house. So Thank you for watching. Love you so much. Have a good week.